what's up guys we're gonna bro beats today i'm gonna show you guys how to not hear yourself while recording if you guys haven't subbed already or turned post notices on make sure you do so because it does help the channel out a lot let's hop right into it so this everything i go over in this video should work for every other daw if if needed most daws don't need to do this but with fl you kind of need to do some of these things all right so what i have here is a beat um what's well, not a beat it's pretty much just chorus but it's going to act as a beat and then we have our vocal and i'm using arcade for the vocal um i obviously can't record and record a vocal in fl while recording the video okay so if everything mapped here so this is pretty much what it would look like if you just started recording and you just set your track up right so i'm gonna just play it so you can hear what it sounds like <laughs> Okay, so that's gonna act as our vocal. So now I'm gonna go over how you would usually record and you probably do this if you have FL Studio. So the first way that most people do is you come here to your vocal track, you click this and you probably click one of these, whatever your mic is. You turn on arm disc recording, right? You probably watched a video that told you to do that or you right click here and make sure your audio is clipped on and you press record and then you would start to record and you know rap whatever okay let's delete that one so the problem there is that if you look here you can actually hear yourself all right and that's a problem especially if you have some latency it'll sound like your voice is doubled or it'll sound like it'll sound very, very weird. And it's kind of hard to talk when you hear yourself talking kind of like a few seconds behind yourself. Um, I'm sure you guys experienced that before. So let's delete these. So that's pretty much the first way most people record. All right, so the second method of recording uh, would be with Edison, okay? So if you click in Edison, um, and then to set this up pretty much would be either you can leave it on input or just on play. I usually just do on play and you press record and then you can arm your recording. And then what you would do is mute this. Now, sometime now, depending on your computer or if you have a laptop, um, this will work. So for me, most of the time I can do this if I put my settings low. But for most people, about 90% of people, you will experience some latency or delay when recording in here. And you'll see, cause it'll say like song jump or something like that. Um, so let's play it. All right, so let's drag this. Now for me, there isn't much delay, but you will experience some and I don't think there's much delay because I'm not doing a live recording. I'm just recording a VST, but it's pretty much the same. So you'll see here that I have a slight delay here, right? But most of the time, it'll be something like this, all right, somewhere around here. And that can get very, very annoying when you're trying to record vocals or if you're trying to do ad-libs and you, and you wanna hear what it sounds like and play back and see if you like it or whatever you have to keep doing surgery on your files it's kind of annoying okay so i'm gonna show you the best way to do this all right and it's pretty much the easiest way as well so it's pretty much uh co combining method one but with an extra step so let's delete this and turn our vocal on and let me zoom in here okay so now what you want to do is just repeat step one so you arm it Okay, and then you make sure that your audio is playing and then you arm this. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna disconnect your vocal from your master. Now, you do not hear sounds from these tracks. Where you actually hear them from is your master track. So, if you think about it, all you have to do is, is disconnect your vocal from your master. It's still playing within the DAW, like the computer can technically hear it, but you can't because it's not coming through the playback. So all you have to do is disconnect it. All right, and then when you want to hear it, you connect it again. Just click the arrow, boom. And then when we record. All 
Okay, and then now we have our vocal here. Okay, and then we can actually play this to show you that there's no delay. So when I play it with this vocal, if it just sounds louder, then it's pretty much on beat in sync. So let's just unarm these so it doesn't replay. So here we go. And let me just move this. All right, sounds on beat. So that's pretty much how you would record. All right, and then if you want to arm it back, you can. All right, and if it just sounds louder, that's how you know that it's on beat, okay? So that's how you record. That's the best way to record within FL Studio. You can carry this method over to any DAW pretty much, but I don't think other DAWs really have these issues besides FL. But that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully this was helpful. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.